Welcome back to Escapement and Watch. Falling Titan here. Big exciting news. Kavar Jewelers has become an Oris authorized dealer. So we're gonna see a lot more Orises, Orisai, Orisai on the channel. So that is amazing. And right now in this video, we're gonna check out their brand new in-house caliber in one of their most iconic watches. Let's go. I want to start off by saying if you want to buy this watch, this exact one, email me in the description and maybe I can work some magic for you and you will be pleasantly surprised. Now, let's get into the unboxing. All right, here's the warranty card. Let me just cover the serial. When you buy an Oris from an AD, you get the warranty and that matters even more than ever now with the 10 year warranty. Uh, I bought my Oris Diver 65 uh, before my AD had Oris on board. And those, the gray market ones do not come uh, with warranty. So that sucks. So this one does. Very important to get that official Oris AD. Love it. Here's a book on the new caliber. All right, and unboxing. Oof, a little bit stuck there. Nice Oris logo here, uh, soft suede, and there's the watch. And there's your 10 year guarantee and warranty. Nice, all right. I'm gonna put this away and I'll be back. Let's begin introducing the all new Oris Aquas with the new caliber 400 with that Fume blue dial. What a stunning looking watch. Now this watch has its own identity. It came out in 2011. So under a decade, gonna be a decade soon, 2021. But in its short lifespan, it has created its own iconic status or not there yet, but becoming there. We are uh, bearing witness to the Aquas becoming iconic. Uh, it is in that phase. When you see this on the wrist, you know what it is instantly from all the way across the room. Uh, when you see a Willard on the wrist, same thing. And when you see a Submariner from a football field away, you know it's a Submariner. So, Oris with this unique design and K shape is creating their own iconic watch, basically forcing us to recognize it as iconic because of its unique design. And that's a cool trick from Oris. I'm a fan of that. Now look at the K shape. It is a kettle with the lugs attached to it and the lugs dip down dramatically and they don't even look like lugs because of that integrated bracelet. It's basically a bracelet attached to a kettle. <laughs> That's it. So this cool trick will let it wear smaller. So be wary when you're buying an Oris. If you're used to 40 mils and you want to buy a 39, that 39 is going to look smaller on you and you might not be happy. So you might have to get a bigger Oris than normal to fit to go to your size. All right. Now a little bit about the history before we get into the movement because it ties into the movement. Okay, so Oris was founded in 1904, named after a brook. And in 1952, the caliber 601 was born, Oris's first in-house movement. Now 68 years later, they're back to in-house movement. What happened in the middle? Well, the court's crisis. They joined the Swatch Group back then, known as ASUAG, terrible name. Uh, now they're known as the Swatch Group. Swatch Group kind of handicapping Oris, delegating them only to courts, uh, almost destroying the company. Oris broke free in 1989, 20 years, uh, sorry, 19 years of stagnation. Now they are independent once again, breaking free rising up to their 
potential. And that's why I love Oris, an underdog story, an excellent brand. We all, who doesn't love an underdog story? Come on. And now, 68 years later, coming back with their in-house movements once again, and not just coming back, coming back with a huge right hook to the industry, uh, taking, taking a page out of Seiko's book with the quartz crisis, when you want to do something big, you do it hard and you do it strong. And that's what they did with this 10 year warranty, 10 year service interval, better than cost certification. Well, that's what it's rated at plus five minus three. It's not actually certified, but it's beating cost by one second on both sides of the zero. All right. 22, five magnetic gauss about 29 or 30 uh, silicone parts. So very cool there. Five day power reserve in house movement. Uh, that's a big right hook from Oris. And that's why Oris is calling this movement the new standard because it ticks all the boxes. Usually micro brands have to tick all the boxes because they don't have history and legacy. Oris has that history and legacy, but they're ticking all the boxes because they want to move up on market and that's what they're doing with this one. The price is a thousand, about 1100 actually higher than uh, the base Solita they used to use. And it's worth it. I'm not a fan of the base ETAs, the base Solitas, same thing. Uh, the winding on this is amazing. Uh, when you wind a base ETA or Solita, they have those reverser gear problems. So you got to wind it like a baby. You got to wind it like this and be very careful. If you're not paying attention one day and let's say you're uh, listening to the radio or watching the news or whatever, morning coffee and you wind it fast like this, you strip your reverser gears. Well, if you do it often and your movement is in need of service. Now this one doesn't suffer from that amazingly smooth winding clutch system on the crown, uh, just like the Rolex. So it disengages the stem as you screw it in. One of my negatives is the crown doesn't screw in enough. It looks like there's a gap there. Let's see if I can kind of show it to you guys. So I wish the crown would uh, tuck in a little bit. Now let's look at that beautiful movement. As you can see, it looks like the bear. The bear is the brand ambassador for Oris. Oris is a lovey dovey brand. They do a lot for the environment. And uh, that's a big plus for me. They make a lot of limited editions and the sales go to helping uh, the world. So Oris, great company, great family values. The bear as their brand ambassador is a good thing. Unlike Tudor, who uses Lady Gaga as a brand ambassador. <sighs> All right. So let's check out the measurements. These are what I got 43 and a half in diameter. 13.1 thick, very slight dome on that sapphire. And wait for it. A big lug to lug 49.9 millimeters lug to lug. So a little bit long, but remember that's these lugs are basically the bracelet. Don't consider them as lugs. So gonna wear a lot smaller than indicated. Hard to trust with this unique design. The bracelet is all milled and screw links, milled clasp, solid end links, solid links, uh, only three micro adjusts. You have a dive extension, not bad. Wish there was a quick adjust. Signed Oris, two button deployant, and a very cool trick. Uh, you see the bracelet? It just, uh, you can just use your fingernail lift. Look how easy. I did that with gloves, guys. And lift up. Sorry, guys, I'm looking around the camera. There. All right, so easy to remove your bracelet. You don't have to butcher your lugs. To put it back, you just slide it in lightly. Push down there, it's in. And then it clips in, that's it. Very nice. No fuss, toolless design, love it. Easy to change the bracelet out, but why would you? The bracelet is stunning. 
High polish on the sides, brushed on the middle. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Now the case back is see-through and you can see that beautiful movement. The movement has a brushed finish. Uh, no perlage work or Cotes de Genève. Kind of wish they dressed it up a bit, maybe in future iterations, but it really matches the Aquas's uh, tool-like look, rugged nature. This thing is a tank, built like a tank, feels high quality. When you, when you see that movement with that bead blasted finish, it matches the watch's personality. But if they ever put this in a Diver 65 with a clear window, I want to see design, I want to see finish, I want to see beveled edges, I want to see them update the 400, maybe make it the 401, pretty edition. You don't have to call it that. Uh, patent pending, Oris, if you're watching. Pretty edition is, is my name. <laughs> so the bezel insert is ceramic. And the turn's pretty good. You can hear the clicks. Um, no backplate. Maybe, yeah. Once it clicks in, yeah, no backplate. So everything lines up. Very clicky and tactile. There. There we go. So very slight slope on that insert as well. It's okay. And a very slight slope on that sapphire with anti-reflective coating. Now the dial and hands, the typical Oris hands, I mean, sorry, the typical uh, Aquas hands filled with loom. The dial indices kind of look like fingernails to me, <laughs> uh, like with that weird taper at the end. And the date window pushed down to the very bottom. The one with the Salida, the date window was higher up and it had a half indice at six. I like this better very clean and I like it pushed down to the bottom, but they added the five day text at the bottom and a lot more text. I'm not a fan of a lot of text, but it's okay. And the Oris logo looks more crisp. I don't know what it is, but it looks better. Very nice. Quality might have increased, but what else increased? The price. This one, 3,500 USD. The old one was about uh, 2,400. So a little bit of a price premium over the Solita version and very well worth it, in my opinion. I love having in-house movements. Uh, it's just, it kind of is a bragging thing, but not really. It just feels nice when your company makes its own movements. I don't know why, it just does. Now, some people complaining, I have to mention it, uh, about this movement jumping. When you pull out the crown, let's see. So unscrew the crown, it's a screw down crown if I didn't mention. 300 meters water resist if I didn't mention. Come on, there, finally got the pop. Oh, so smooth, okay, ready? Okay, didn't do it that time, but let's see. See that little jump? Let me try to go forward a lot. So sometimes the minute hand will jump when you pull out the crown and pop it back in. The cure for it has been the same as it always been. If you want to set it to three o'clock, move forward five minutes and go back and then push it in and you don't get the movement. All right. Now this is not unique to Oris. This happens on uh, if you look up minute hand jumps with my, when I pull up my crown, you'll see uh, some JLC, some Omega, some Rolex, uh, some AP. So it's not an Oris issue. It is an engineering and mechanical issue. When you pull out the crown, you're, you're hacking the movement, right? So you're disengaging the gears. So there's a little bit of slack in every gear train. Remember, there's tons of gears in here. They're all connected in a big train. One moves the next. So when you disengage one, uh, sometimes it creates a violent uh, disengagement. So the gear is slightly out of place. So moving it forward a bit and back settles it back into place perfectly. You can get tighter tolerances 
but there's always going to be some gear train slack in any movement. It's just um, the world of physics. So you might it, that might bug you. It kind of bugs me, uh, but it's not a deal breaker for me because I know what happens to other movements. All right. So that's my quick uh, little take on the issue that people were complaining about. Now let's do a wrist shot. All right, there it is. So very big, as you can tell on my six and a half inch wrist. Hmm, feels very nice though on the wrist. And because that integrated bracelet just drops off, actually can pull it off quite well. It looks a lot bigger right now on camera, guys. I'm turning my head around the camera, doing some gymnastics, and actually wears pretty perfect in real life. Hmm. Interesting. Man, see, I would think I would buy a 39 Aquas, but no, I, I should not. If I ever wanted an Aquas, I would get... Hmm, maybe a 41, but actually this wears great. But on the side, it looks really big. Yeah. All right, very beefy, modern look and becoming iconic. I love it. This is a watch uh, you can be proud of. It's a, it's a great one. I'm a fan of it. Let's check the weight. Gonna try to keep these tags off. They always add a couple grams. So no links removed. 177. Ooh, it is heavy. That 180 mark is the mark where I like to be under. And uh, this one does it, especially when I remove links. It would be it, it would wear it would wear great. Some people like that heft. I prefer a little bit lighter. Time grapher time. All right, here we go. Let's check it out. Man, that beat rate is fast. 28.8 VPH. I think I forgot to mention that while I was uh, ranting about the movement. Okay, so 28.8 VPH. Let's go back. Okay, so plus four seconds. We have a little bit of beat error. 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and then minus five. Remember, this movement is brand new and does need breaking in. That amplitude is crazy strong at 200. Uh, sorry, 320. Three, amazing. I'm gonna mute it. All right, so guys, when you have a twin barrel uh, form like this, it's gonna be hard to get that power off efficiency. I think that's why we're seeing a little bit of a wave. I'm not sure, but four zeros across the board. Zero, 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 zero. But the amplitude is so powerful above 300. Wow. So zero seconds a day, we did four rounds. Let's do four more. 0 0.2 milliseconds of beat error. So very little. Man, the movement, you can't complain with zero seconds a day. Here we go. Sorry guys, it wouldn't focus. Wow, look at that loom. Now I know Oris Aquas is known for its super loom and looks great even in blue, looks powerful. Uh, compared to the Willard, real quick. Excellent. So both doing well. I really love Blue Loom. I don't know why. It's just so nice. It looks a bit dimmer, but it's so nice. All right. So excellent Loom from the Oris Aquas. Uh, there's no surprise there. This thing is known for its Loom. Let's uh, do the half lighting. All right. Here it is under some half lighting. And that dial looking a little black on some areas. Beautiful. Love that Fume dial. Sunray blue. Mm hmm. Excellent. This is a stunning piece. It feels high quality. It's from a brand with history and legacy. They're independent, which is very tough in today's market. You can excuse them for a little bit of a price increase. Everyone is doing it trying to survive and going all in house, going with a 10 year warranty, 10 year service interval, high magnetic resistance, five day power reserve. Uh, it's, 
it's unbelievable. And with the unique looks, carving out their own niche and their own iconic status, which I feel that's what they're doing with this. When you see it, when you see this, you know what it is. That's creating an icon. And with the new caliber 400, the Oris did it. And uh, it's a nice uppercut to the other brands. Hope everyone is taking note of Oris and uh, maybe they'll up their calibers. So again, if you wanna buy this watch, email me in the description below and uh, maybe you'll be very pleasantly surprised. All right. Now, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>